Wow, for something that was almost certainly, you know, put together from several different sources, um, at, you know, different times, different places. This one has a great sense of fluidity through it. Um, it feels like it's all in, in one place for a lot of it. And I think that's remarkable because it almost certainly probably isn't. Um, so yeah, they did a great job cutting it all together. It felt, uh, just really, really like it gelled, um, all the elements, including the music. So at first it felt like we were going through a movement at the dancer's home, which felt intimate and cozy and familiar. But there's that slight dissonance with the, the music in the background. Um, with all the notes at the far end of the piano being played. And then it dissolved into this frantic exploration of being trapped and, and being stuck and uncomfortable in your space, really bounded by, by the walls instead of comforted by them, which definitely can relate to a lot of uh, COVID isolation uh, feelings, but a lot of people who definitely feel stuck in their homes can also tie into a lot of themes in this piece. It was a really cool physical exploration of that. Powerful, intense kind of piece. Um, the filming style was very interesting. Parts of it uh, felt like it was being filmed on a uh, handheld or, or possibly even a phone. Um, and watching these different like snippets of these different dancers um, and the music played a big part in the in the film and the filmmakers were able to sync up and match the dance moves to the beats in the in the music so perfectly um, and the tone of the song with the the tone of the movements and the story that it was telling it definitely like there was a lot of discord happening uh towards the end and you can see that in the kind of jerkier movements and the i don't want to say unnatural but like not smooth movements um that was definitely reflected in, in the music which is getting more and more chaotic and then at the end she's holding herself up and she just falls um it's very dramatic it was it was a very cool piece, and I think that this was like a brainchild of somebody that it was it was executed really well and brought to life. Um, this one was really directed well. Um, everyone was on the same page as far as movement and bringing life to hallways and window frames, and some parts stood out to me. Um, one which was the artist underneath the table and the choreography with mirrors as well. Um, those parts stood out to me the most. Movements were graceful and flawless. Uh, tempo was on time. I felt like uh, it was pandemic inspired and every performance worked hard towards uh, the common goal. The thing that I'd center on the most, or that I focus on the most whenever I see something as spectacular as a gun, um, is the sound editing. And I assume that is Noguera, who, um, as the director, who does that. But there's nothing quite like the movement of the human body when it's contorted in such a way. And there's nothing quite like the right kind of editing to capture it. And that is this film's strongest feature. So credits to all of the dancers and actors and exhibitionists. But uh, it is truly the editor that's the star of the show. And I felt like with their movements, it matched the music at first, very soft and quiet and small. And as the music got louder, I felt as though like they were getting stronger and their movements were becoming bigger and wider and more powerful. And I feel like like with those movements, like it demands your attention. Like you can't take your eyes off of it because they're taking your attention. Like and I think that just works so well. It was just like a very strong, powerful piece. I really enjoyed this. I thought that the color palette that they were using was really almost kind of creepy, which went along with the music, which um, also went along with the movement and the dancing that was going on. I thought that they're kind of 
playing with focus and sharpness of the of the video itself of the different um clips of the different dancers also kind of added towards that general kind of uneasy or um maybe a little bit more spooky almost feel and to me what i like as i watched it more and more what i really got from it was all of these different dancers i don't know if it was all choreographed if it was none of it was choreographed but what it felt like to me was that each of these different dancers was all listening to the same music and interpreting the music in their own bodies in their own styles in their own ways and the movement went so well together and i think that it like had to have been driven by the music like the way that these people were moving it seems to emphasize an idea of isolation specifically interior isolation inside like um living spaces because predominantly though there are several different dancers all of whom are very talented featured throughout most of them seem to be in an apartment complex like space so you could draw obvious comparisons to lockdown procedures that had been in place in so many places around the world in, in uh, parts of the last several months. So we get a sense through their movements as well as their settings, uh, the settings of the piece, a sense of confinement and constraint and, and stress and a disjointed connection with the outside world that, that certainly the the tone and aura that seems to be expressed although that doesn't have to be the definitive interpretation and that's what's great with pieces like this they're open to multiple uh, types of interpretation and perhaps this piece had nothing to do with the pandemic but simply speaks on it um, unintentionally it is now even more substantive than it was before because it, it um, resonates in a way that was uh, potentially not expected beforehand when it was first made. So I think that's its strength and its ambiguity.